Hello everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks and I'm going to teach you how to add some extra shine to hair in Photoshop. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top menu and I'm going to choose the select button. Okay. From there you're going to go down to where it says color range. Click on that. You'll get a new menu that pops up right here. At the top, it says select sampled colors, and there's a drop down here. So we're going to drop down that menu and we're going to select highlights. Okay. From there, you can see a preview of the highlights in this box. It's black and white. We can use the fuzziness and the range to really pay attention to the hair and watch when the highlights naturally come out in the hair. So I'm going to bring the fuzziness over first and you can see as I do that, you can tell where the highlights in the hair are. Now we can see lots of highlights on the other parts of the image too, but what I want you to really pay attention to is the hair in your image because that's what we're going to focus on. You can also take a look at the range and you might pull that one down to get even more of the highlights to pop out. You don't want it to be so overpowering though that the highlights are going to pop through all over the hair. We just want it, you know, just like she's going to a beauty salon and to have those natural highlights pop out. So I see them right there and that looks pretty good. That actually might be a little too much too. I'll bring that down. And then I'm going to click OK. From there, we're going to create a new layer by hitting Control J and that layer pops up here. Now this layer is just those highlights that we selected. I'm going to change my blending mode from normal to screen. Okay. Now you see her hair is nice and shiny now. We see a lot of those highlights, but we see it over the whole image, so we don't want that. So I'm going to create a layer mask on that layer. So let's create that mask and I'm going to invert that layer. I'm going to hit control I to invert that. So we don't have those highlights over the whole image. Then I'm just going to make sure that my brush is set to white. I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to paint on those highlights. So her hair looks very shiny. And that's just showing up then the highlights in her hair. Now we're at 100% opacity right now and you might like that. You might like that um, little bit of blonde highlights that are peeking through, but I'd like it to be a little more natural. So I'm just going to go back over to where it says opacity and I'm going to bring that down a little bit so it looks a little more natural. So I might put it at about, I don't know, I've got it at about 48% right now. And let's see what it looks like before. So there it was before the extra shine. There it is after. And I might bring that down just a little bit more just to make sure it looks more natural. And there you go. That's one way you can get some extra shine in the hair in your portraits. I hope you learned something. I'd love if you'd subscribe to the channel. I'm also going to link uh, below to um, a spot on the blog where I have a whole bunch more photography tips and tutorials for you. So thanks for watching.